Hey guys, Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes one and two of Blue Refraction, uh, Reflection Ray. I know I was gonna fuck that up, and you're gonna hear me F that up several times, <laughs> probably with this. So let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three, two, one, go. Like a music box? Yeah, it looks more like a music box. Uh oh. I saw my kind of itchy nose. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but up. There's only one girl. <laughs> What do you mean? Oh, a, a All right, couple minutes in, and I'm already confused. This is already giving me like hella Magical Girl Rising Project feels. Kind of a little bit of Magical Girl Sight. But I feel like we're not getting hell even Yuki Yuna. Um, but I don't think we're going to get into like into the real like death of like a quote unquote Magical Girl death game. Uh oh. Was she bullied? Oh, now I'm getting kind of, um, oh my god, uh, what the fuck is that show? Um, not Revolutionary Girl, um, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking. Rev you Starlight, there we go. <laughs> Aww. 
It'd be like that. One roommate is hella neat and the other one is dirty, cluttered. Everything's just everywhere. <laughs> Well, what happened to Kana? Oh, what if she's dead? No, I don't think she's mad. But okay, hold on. We're we not going to talk about the little beginning thing. We, we skipping over that? Or is that something that's going to happen later on down the line? Pretty. Case. <laughs> that was just basically a Garu talking to another Garu in a nutshell. Okay. Yeah. Like, you could talk to her and get to know her, though. 
But, I mean... Huh? Oh! I mean, at least help her up, but... <laughs> the ring? Yeah. Okay, for a moment I was about to be like, is that supposed to happen? <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, hold on. So did they just have a connection because of the ring? Still a little confused, but we go on with it. It's interesting, though. Hey, but hold up. Wasn't she the girl who just got her flower taken away or something? Hold the fuck. Oh, that sounds like Kayere Hondo. Come on now. If that is not Kayere Hondo, come on. <laughs> I finished one anime with her just to start another one with her. Okay, hold on. So if there's a girl's dorm, there's got to be a boy's dorm, right? But it doesn't seem like that. It seems like this school is just an all-girls school. No, 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 no. It, it might be good. Just don't worry about that. See? Do 
Don't doubt yourself, though, Ruka. Well, of course, but that's also pushing yourself out there or really putting yourself out there so that you can get to know someone. And it's okay to be shy. So she, uh, yeah, she about to take her flower. Yeah, what the fuck is going on, you know? Like I said, very interested. But still, what the heck is going on? Well, I mean, no, in a way, you guys are the help. You're, you're the ones who are going to do this.
Oh. Okay, those are those two girls from the beginning. Oh, no! Okay, I thought we were just... <laughs> got into credits, I would have been so pissed. She's pretty, though. I mean, like, seriously, when you look at her, she literally looks like Snow White from Magical Girl Rising Project, like, in a nutshell, especially. I, I mean, I'm hoping Ruka can also transform. I I'm guessing she needs a little more time. Excuse me. The Undying Light. Okay, so first thoughts on this. Oh, you gave me the car cap to Sakura freaking clear card thing all over again. Oh my god. With that little <laughs> dip into the water. Okay, I really like this. This is very, very interesting. Confusing with the first episode in a way, but very interesting. Um... I got a lot of questions on this, and especially, like, with Ruka. What is Ruka's, you know, part in this? Especially now, since she has a ring, is she going to be able to transform just like, you know, her roommate and such? Since she can also transform as well and such, um, then these two girls right here, aka the bad guys, I'm guessing, taking other girls' flowers, which I'm glad, I'm, uh, I can't speak, I'm guessing the flower coming out of the girls are like their souls in a way so i mean i like that that's different you know we we, we like that mm -hmm, we sure do but i mean yeah it, it's very interesting different from majority of the magical girl type series that i've seen but it does give me feels of like magical girl rising project meets the we cross series and such only with the fact is, especially when there's a point where I think her name was Hiori, I believe, um, saying it was either Hiori or the other. No, it wasn't Hiori. It was the it was the other girl with the really short bob hair that had uh, what's her face, calling themselves reflectors. Very similar to We Cross, if you have not seen that show. Okay, so in a way, basically, red means bad, blue means good. Mm -hmm. Something just tells me, like I said, especially going back to Magical Girl Rising Project, we cross any type of Magical Girl, quote-unquote, death game, Yuki Yuna, Madoka, Madoka Magica, Magica Recorde, anything else that is in that genre, 
this is going to be very cutesy-ish in the beginning and then probably by the halfway point, which is this is like a 24 episode series. Um, so I'll say from episode 13 to the end of the series, we're going to get very, very dark and find out the truth of, you know, maybe these rings are slowly but surely sucking the life force out of these girls or something. I don't know. I got no freaking clue. But especially with that little first bit before going and focusing on Ruka, what the fuck was that about? Like, that's so, that's a big unanswered question right there. Like, I, I love when shows, because, um, in a way, like, talk to Opening Destiny when they, when that was airing and such, they did something like that, and then you're, with the first episode, and, but you didn't get the answers until episode two, which is technically, in my opinion, um, the first episode of the series, so it's like, if you ever do watch that show, watch episode two first, and then watch episode one, because, I mean, initially, you know, when you're watching that first episode, because I said it too, people got hella confused, and be like, hold on, wait, you gave us answers, but not enough, like, what happened, and such, so there's got to be an episode or a point into this series where we possibly get answers or a callback to that moment so there has to be like a point where that girl where everything she's questioning of what she thinks is quote-unquote right and how to be like what is a what is a quote-unquote magical girl and what is the right thing to do whatever she found out the truth about of course she's like okay well maybe this is wrong I shouldn't do this anymore why were we all chosen to do this? This is that and the third. So like I said, there is a lot of unanswered questions with this, but this is only the first episode. I do feel bad for the girl that um, basically was try was being mean to Ruka every single moment. I mean, okay, Ruka is a very shy girl, but I, and, and this has happened to me. I have a very type of mean mug face where sometimes if I look at someone they think I'm pissed at them or stuff. Or if you look at somebody a little too long, someone looks like, oh, hey, what's up? What's good? What's your problem? Why are you staring at me like that and such? And I'm over here like, no, 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 no. Like sometimes like I'm like thinking about something and it just happens and stuff. And it could be like that for Ruka. I don't really know. This is only the first episode and we barely really know anything about this girl, let alone any of these girls and such. So hopefully, you know, by the end of the series, we get to learn more about these girls. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. All right, episode two and three, two... One, go. And that's why you always kept to yourself. Until... See, something tells me I feel like Ruka is gay. I, and I'm not mad at that. You know, if you if you love it, by all means, go ahead. But maybe if it's not that, I think that girl that she wants to be friends with from what we're seeing from in this backstory and such, um, possibly has made Ruka be able to come out of her shell. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure because, like I said, Ruka is the type of person who is very much to herself. And so she feels a little type of way when she sees, like, big crowds of people and needs to talk. Probably getting a little, like, anxiety. Just like uh, almost everyone else and such. But who knows? I just, I really hope and pray Ruka gets to be a magical girl because, come on now, you got a ring too, so you should be able to fight just as much as the main character up in this bitch. I'm just saying. And then I wonder about her. Is she going to be one? Th like I said, I didn't ask her questions. Oh my God.
but it does. Okay, hold up. She just sent people their age. How old is she? Is she the same age as these two? Yeah, there is no way in hell. She's got to be at least like, what, okay, in her 20s? She knows someone who's related to Hiori. Yeah, 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 because yeah, her sister. You've known her sister. Hmm. Cause that girl that she keeps um show they keep showing in the background who has her like back to us, that's gotta be Hyori's sister. Come on now. Well, maybe not only for herself, but to possibly find the truth about maybe her sister. I mean, there's so many unanswered questions once again. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Is she stalking you now? I mean... Yeah, but why have you been following her? No, you don't sound silly because it actually happened. Maybe the reason why possibly Ruka doesn't want to tell her. If she tells her, like, something could happen. I don't think she'll, like, combust or something, but, you know, something might happen. <laughs> Well, it's usually like that. Mystery, bleh, mystery flavors are not usually the best. I think there was like one year with like Mountain Dew or something, which was, it was good, but it wasn't the greatest. Or the newest creation that they made, which was like gingerbread Mountain Dew, which was, <laughs> I had it once and I said I would never try it again. And I haven't tried it for the rest of December. <laughs> Please. I know because you don't go to school. Mm. Yeah. So you do know her. So that if you know her, it's a possibility that Ruka, like I said, also knew her.
Okay, hold on. Question. Why do you need the fragments, though? Hello? <laughs> That's the worst time to have low battery. Well, too late. <laughs> I thought you technically agreed to her when you ran after her. Well, you might be able to. Uh-oh. You still haven't said what happened to your sister, though. Mm. So basically, your mom's a deadbeat, and she left you guys to defend for yourselves. It's so sad. And the fact that there are people like that, even out there in the real world, is so horrible. Is that a picture of her? Exactly. So that realizes and tells you that you are special, Ruka. <laughs> I 
don't like the way she was scratching at her nail like that. Because something tell me she was about to pull that sucker off. Like, mm-mm. No, this ain't cocky goody. Mm, don't do that. Mm-mm. But why throw that out, though? Why, though? For me, I'll go. No, don't do that. Oh, God. Is it possibly because they all go to the same school or something? Yeah, AK taking her flower. Beautiful. Now, of course, we can't do anything. Until she's able to, which is probably going to be like the last few minutes of this episode, right? God dang it. Come on. Are you serious? <laughs> no. Why would you end right there? Oh, it was getting good. It really, truly is. Like, this is only the first two out of 24 episodes. And just, uh, but one thing is I'm hoping that, you know, 
if Miyoko is able to survive this and, you know, have her flower, a.k.a. I'm guessing, like, again, her soul back into her, what the hell is going to happen to her? I mean, is she going to be officially a part of the gang? Is she going to be able to turn into a magical girl just like Ruka and Hiyori and Momo? Or is she just going to be... I cannot believe I'm about to compare her to this character from Pretty Care because she's already kind of giving me those feels. So if any of you have seen Go Princess Pretty Care, the girl who essentially, um, she's friends with both Haruka, um, Kirara, and Cure Mermaid's character. She has like braids or buns and stuff in her hair on her hair for her hairstyle and stuff. And she's an Arthur. And a lot of us at the time when Go Princess was coming out and such, and we were trying to figure out who the next cure was going to be, a lot of us wanted her to be the final cure and not Toa slash, you know, cure <laughs> Scarlet, aka second best girl from that show. Well, yeah, second best girl, even though I love all four of them and what's her race including. But it seems like that. She's going to be, like, she's going to have a role in this show, but it's not going to be, like, up as Momo, Ruka, and Hiyori. It seems like those three are going to be very, very, very important. Or I could be wrong, and Miyako could be like one of the most important characters in this series besides those three. But still, there's a lot of unanswered questions. Anything else that could happen in this fight for next week could happen. It seems like the girl with the long brownish hair who was touching the little girl with the grayish hair in the previous episode who ended up telling her, oh, hey, you're my big sister now. Is that Mio? Maybe because, okay, here's the thing. When Ruka and Hiyori were talking about her sister and were panning to, you know, the photos and stuff, and of course, we're, we're, show, we're not showing what the sister looks like, but she has to somewhat look like her because they kind of look like twins. They could be doing, you know, the Danganronpa type thing where it's like, Oh, hey, they're sisters, but you know they ain't look like and it's like that because, you know, <laughs> Makuro and Junko don't look anything like each other and still Junko is the best girl and Makuro because I was like second or third best girl because, you know, well, probably like fourth or fifth best girl for me. She's interesting, but, you know, I thought Junko was way more, but still her as Junko for like the couple episodes was good. But yeah, there, like I said, once again, there is a lot of unanswered questions. So hopefully going into episodes three and four next week are really for me in a couple of days because I'm probably going to watch this on Sunday. Um, hopefully I get some questions answered. If not, like the big, big questions I'm probably wondering, they're not going to come until that halfway point, like I said. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Blue Reflection Ray. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys. Okay. So, this is how we're going to do this. Oh, shoot. Get my phone. Okay. Today is the 24th. And I know this is going to... Patreons are going to see this, of course, on Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to my Patreons. Um, everybody else will get this on officially the third because of the fact is what I was trying to do um between this week and next week was just to have patrons have like the first two episodes of this and the following um well no the first two the first four episodes of both this and the next two other series that I'm still you know trying to finish and conclude because I was like at first I was like I don't know what the frick I'm gonna do and so because I had postponed it this I was like yeah I'm gonna be smart I'm gonna be nice and I'm gonna be like okay Y'all get four, y'all get like several videos this week and everybody else is going to get this stuff when we get into January. So I will see everybody else on the 3rd of January for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.